Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, science-minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Pam, your science chum. Have your pen, paper, and motor ready for today. We will learn about mixtures in our Science 6 class. Which of the following is a mixture? A. A bag of assorted candies B. A basket of mangoes C. A pile of wood Or D. A plastic plate The correct answer is Letter A. A bag of assorted candies Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. A sachet of 3-in-1 coffee contains coffee, sugar, and powdered cream, thus making it heterogeneous. When hot water is poured into the mixture and mixed it properly, it becomes homogeneous. That supports this occurrence. A. The components of mixtures cannot be identified when dissolved in hot water. B. The components of mixtures taste sweet when mixed in with hot water. C. The components of mixtures form a two-layer liquid. Or D. The components of mixtures can be separated. The correct answer is letter A. The components of mixtures cannot be identified when dissolved in hot water. Number 3. Based from the table that you see on the board, which of the following are homogeneous mixtures? A. Tea with sugar and buco salad B. Alcohol and air C. Buco salad and nachos Or D. Tea with sugar, alcohol and air The correct answer is Letter D. Tea with sugar, alcohol and air Based on this picture, how would you define mixtures? If you say that a mixture is a combination of two or more substances mixed together, then you are correct. For question number four, look at the next picture that I will show you. Which of these items are mixtures? Which of these items are mixtures? A bowl of soup? B. An ice cream cone? C. A glass of milk tea D. A chili pepper E. Sugar Or F. A plate of mixed vegetables If you choose letter A, a bowl of soup C. A glass of milk tea And F. A plate of mixed vegetables Then you are correct! How are you doing so far? I hope you're getting the correct answers! Just a few more questions. Are you ready? Question number 5. Which is true about heterogeneous mixtures? A. Composition of mixtures are the same all throughout. B. Composition of mixtures are visible. C. Composition of mixtures can be easily identified. Or D. Both B and C. If you answered letter D for both B and C, then you are correct. A pizza is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Can you briefly explain why it is classified as such? If you answered that a pizza is considered as a heterogeneous mixture because we can still see the ingredients mixed together, then you are correct. Now, can you write five mixtures that you can find in your kitchen? What mixtures do I have in my kitchen? Ah! I have soy sauce, pinak bet, pineapple juice, fried rice, and tinola isda. Do you have the same mixtures in your kitchen? Awesome! For my last question, can you answer me this? Sahaya likes to eat banana cube during recess time together with her friend Akman. Can you name the components of mixtures used in making banana cube? 
If your answers are oil, banana, sugar, and banana cure wrapper, then you are awesome! Well done! Have you ever tried eating delicious delicacies served in your school canteen during recess? Do you know how these foods were prepared? In such a way that various ingredients were mixed to make it delicious and healthy? Just like the different ingredients combined together to form the food we eat, the combination of several components or elements produce a useful product that can be utilized and consumed for our advantage. I have three items here with me. Rock, water in a container, and a humidifier. The illustration of particles of matter in a rock. As a review, what is the state of matter of the rock? Yes, it is solid. Now draw the arrangement of the particles of the water inside the glass. A simple illustration will do. Are you done? This is the illustration of particles of matter in water. Can you tell me what state of matter is in this glass? Right! It is liquid. Lastly, I want you to illustrate the arrangement of the particles of the steam coming out of this humidifier. This is the illustration of particles of matter in the steam. Can you tell me what state of matter is the steam that comes out from that humidifier? Correct! It is gas. Do you love to drink milk? Do you drink coffee? Do you love eating fruit salad? How about tinolang manok? I also love eating those foods and drinking those drinks. Now, can you tell me what a cup of milk is made up of? Very good! A cup of milk is made up of milk powder, sugar, and hot water. How about fruit salad? Can you give me the ingredients in making it? Apple, banana, avocado, watermelon, sweetened milk are some of the ingredients we can use in making a fruit salad. A glass of milk, a cup of coffee, a plate of fruit salad, and a bowl of tinolang manok are examples of mixtures. In today's lesson, I will teach you how to be able to describe mixtures, identify the kinds of mixtures, and describe homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Let's start by defining what a mixture is. A mixture is a combination of two or more different substances which are physically combined. It is classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. Take a look at what I am holding. What can you see? Right! There is a juice inside the glass. What is the color of the juice? Excellent! It's orange. Are there any color except orange that you can distinguish in this glass? There's none. Can you enumerate the ingredients in making an orange juice? Right! The ingredients of this orange juice are powdered orange juice, sugar, and water. Can you still distinguish the sugar in this juice? No, you can't. This is an example of a homogeneous mixture. The prefix homo indicates the same. A homogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout. Now take a look at this picture. What do you see? Yes, it is a pizza pie. Can you distinguish the ingredients in this pizza pie? This pizza has cheese, meat, sliced onion, black olives, green bell pepper, tomato sauce, and mushrooms placed on the top of the dough. Since we can still distinguish the ingredients of the pizza pie just by looking at it, and because the composition of its ingredients do not blend together, 
a pizza pie is considered a heterogeneous mixture. The prefix hetero indicates difference. Heterogeneous mixtures are not uniform in proportion where combined substances are not evenly spread or mixed. Now, let's review what we just learned. Number 1. What is a mixture? Mixture is a combination of two or more different substances that are physically combined with each other. Number 2. What are the two types of mixtures? The two types of mixtures are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Number 3. Match the column A with the correct answer in column B. The correct answer is, homogeneous appears uniform all throughout, and heterogeneous mixture is not evenly mixed or spread. Did you know that air is also a mixture? Yes, air is a mixture, specifically homogeneous mixture of several gases, where the two most abundant components are nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. Science-minded learners, are you ready for more? I can hear you! Are you ready? Great! Let's identify the mixtures below as homogeneous or heterogeneous. Write your answers on your paper. Magnet. The correct answer is homogeneous. Seeds. The correct answer is heterogeneous. Fruits. The correct answer is heterogeneous. Alum dissolved in water. The correct answer is homogeneous. Macaroni salad. The correct answer is heterogeneous. It's now time for an activity. Science-minded learners, kindly watch and observe what I am doing. In this activity, we need different kinds of candies, sugar, milk powder, hot water, teaspoon, steering rod, marker, and two containers. First, we label the containers as container N and container P. Then, we place the different kinds of candies in container N. Next, we put one tablespoon of milk powder and one tablespoon of sugar in container P. Then. Fill up the container with hot water. Finally, let's dissolve the sugar and milk powder in this container. Now, we have containers with mixtures inside. When we mix the different candies in the container N, what kind of mixture did we form? Correct! We formed a heterogeneous mixture when we mixed the different candies in container N. Can we still recognize the component of this mixture? Yes, we can still recognize the components of this mixture because the candies remained distinct or it does not blend together. What type of mixture did we form when we mixed the milk powder, sugar, and water together? Right, we formed a homogeneous mixture. Now, let me introduce you to my friend, Sissy. Hi, I'm Sissy. I'm Teacher Pan's friend. I have an assignment. Can you help me in answering it? Thanks! So, will you help her with her assignment? Yes? That's good to know! This is her assignment. We have to classify the following mixtures in their proper column. Where should we put smoke? Should we put bachoy in homogeneous column? No. Where should we put it? How about spaghetti? What mixture is halo halo? How about bleach? Now, let's see what we have learned so far. Complete the paragraph by writing your answers on your paper. 
I learned that mixtures are a combination of blank substances that can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Right, it's two or more. Homogeneous mixtures are blank mixtures, while heterogeneous mixtures are blank mixtures. Very good! Homogeneous mixtures are uniform mixtures, while heterogeneous mixtures are non-uniform mixtures. Wow! It is good that you have learned something in our episode. I do hope that you apply what you have learned in our class today, because that's what a scientist do. Now let's try to do more activities. Shall we? Read and answer the following questions. Write your answers on your paper. Ready? Here we go! Calamansi juice is composed of calamansi extract, water, and sugar. Is calamansi juice a homogeneous or a heterogeneous mixture? If calamansi pulps are filtered out, calamansi juice is a homogeneous mixture because the substances, when combined, appear uniform all throughout. But, if the calamansi pulps are not filtered out, then it is heterogeneous. What type of mixture will you form when you mix different colors in a container? Can you still recognize the components of the mixture? Why? When we mix different colors in a container, we will form a heterogeneous mixture. Yes, we can still recognize the components of the mixture because the substances are not evenly spread or mixed. Amazing! I really think you learned a lot today. So now, let's go to the assessment part. Choose the correct answer in each number. Write your answers on your paper. Which of the following mixtures is heterogeneous? A. Salt and sugar dissolved in water. B. Powder detergent in a pail of water. C. 3-in-1 coffee dissolved in hot water. Or D. Vegetable salad with dressing. The correct answer is D. Vegetable salad with dressing. Number 2. Your mother prepared pinakbet for lunch. How will you describe its ingredients? A. It is a homogeneous mixture because it was evenly mixed. B. It is a heterogeneous mixture because its components are visible. C. It is a heterogeneous mixture because of its uniformity. Or D. It is a homogeneous mixture because it is not uniform. The correct answer is B. It is a heterogeneous mixture because its components are visible. Number 3. A vinegar mixed with soy sauce is a homogeneous mixture because A. You can easily identify its components B. You can only see the white color of the soy sauce C. The mixture appears one or uniform Or D. The mixtures did not mix well The correct answer is C. The mixture appears one or uniform Number 4. Which of the following is a homogeneous mixture? 1. Salt dissolved with water 2. Blood 3. Clothes in the basin 4. Books in the shelves A. 1 and 3 B. 1 and 4 C. 2 and 4 Or D. 1 and 2 The correct answer is D. Salt dissolved with water and blood Number 5. Define prepares vegetable salad with mayonnaise Carrots, cucumber, lettuce, and cheese. What type of mixture is divine salad? What do you think so? The correct answer is heterogeneous because we can still recognize the substances mixed together. That was amazing, science minded learners. To continue our discussions on solutions, our upcoming lesson will be about differentiating a solute from a solvent. So, Stay tuned to learn more, only here on DepEd TV. Remember that our Almighty God is always with us and nothing can stop us from learning. Once again, this is Teacher Pam saying, It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all.
Wassalam!